Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to 513 Breaks. Today I've got something really fun in store. I picked up a few grab bags at the local card shop called Big League down here in Castleberry, Florida, here in Orlando. Five bucks a pop, very good deal. They guarantee that whatever you find inside will at least equal the value of five dollars. So, with that being said, we can find baseball, football, hockey, Pokemon cards, anything, any trading card can be included in these packs. We can find vintage packs, new packs, game use memorabilia, including some of their in-store point systems. So any of those that we find in here, I'll just set to the side. I'll probably use those points later on for future videos for other boxes and memorabilia that I get from their store. But with that being said, let's get into the breaks. We have three of these to do today. I've changed the background a little bit just because we never know what we're going to find in these packs. And I just want to keep it, keep it changing a little bit and never get to, uh, Never keep it the same for too long. Let's see, the first thing we pull out of here is a 1993 baseball card pack. That's pretty cool. Way before my time, but still very cool to see something like that in here. A couple more loose cards. Let's see what we got. We have a Matt Moore 2011 Tops card. Zach McAllister, a couple of baseball cards as well, and Evan Turner and the DeAndre, DeAndre Bembry. A couple of good looking cards. None of these are numbered, so just some straight cards there. What also fell out of here, a 400 point grab bag. Like I said, these are for redemption at Big League down here. So put that to the side definitely be using that in a future video we'll break open the 1993 baseball card pack I haven't broken something this old yet so it'd be really cool to see what we get in here sticking together already these old cards like to stick together separate those a little bit Let's see brian williams greg jeffries a couple of these guys I have never heard of before. Just like I said, before my time, I know a lot of you guys who will be watching collect older cards. Man, they are sticking together today. Nothing too great in there, just some regular cards. I'll sort those through later. Or through those later. Go we'll move on to our second pack here. We'll move pretty quickly through these. There's not too much that comes out of it. We don't want to overlook anything that could potentially be in here as well. Another 200 points. That makes 600. And we have a few football cards this time. Joe Namath. That looks really nice. Elite Series J.J. Watt, Panini, Philip Rivers, and Julio Jones. So all those, again, just loose, regular cards. Nothing numbered, no relics. We'll open up this 1992 Impact Series football card. So it looks like we got a baseball pack on the first one and a football pack here on the second one so we'll see what we can grab out of here they're not sticking together as much so see if we can recognize anybody in here because again 1992 six years before I was born so if you guys recognize any of these let me know down in the comments below up oh, there's someone I know 
Michael Irvin. Talking about him a lot in school lately, in vocal training class at the moment. Mike Singletary. Know him? Yeah, Michael Irvin. We are in vocal training class right now. We've been talking about him. Our vocal training coach, Arthur Joseph, works with Michael Irvin. So we've seen a lot of his work and how he's improved. So that's a pretty cool card to pull out of here. So we got two of those down. No hits yet that we have found in these. But 600 points towards grab bags back at the shop to use in future videos. I'd love to pull something really awesome out of here for you guys. Because I know the first video we didn't get any hits. We did get that one numbered Joey Votto card, which by the way, I looked that up. It is worth about $5, so not too bad. And it looks like we have, oh, we do, we have an autograph. It looks like from a Nebraska Cornhusker, a 2005 rookie debut card of Barrett Rudd. Never heard of him, so we'll have to look that up and see potentially where Mr. Barrett Rudd played, because this card is originally worth $15 at the shop. We got it in a $5 grab bag, so we'll have to look at that. Got a couple of tickets for the shop. No points this time. A couple of hockey cards right up my alley. And three Cincinnati Reds cards. How about that? Two of them are the same, however. So we've got Anisimov from the Chicago Blackhawks. Matt Zuccarello from the Rangers. Two Tucker Barnhart cards that are almost identical. One is in a little better shape than the other. And a Tony Singrani card. So that's pretty cool. Three Cincinnati Reds out of here. Reminds me of home. But we have one more pack to open. It's a 1991-92 basketball card skybox from the NBA. So we got some basketball cards coming your way. A little bit different than what we've seen. I know I want to try and get as much of a variety of cards as I can on this channel. I don't want to just stick to baseball or football. I want to branch out to hockey, basketball, things like that. Maybe even Pokemon cards or magic cards. Whatever you guys want, I am totally down to try as long as it's something trading card related. All right, Billy Thompson, Anthony Cook, Wayne Cooper, well, the cards are upside down here. We'll flip them over. Kevin Upshaw, Dominique Wilkins, Michael Thomas, Thompson, sorry. A uh, nice little checklist there. They include these. This looks to be from 121 to 150. Glenn Rice, Otis Thorpe, and Willie Anderson. So. Not much there in that one. So the packs didn't really yield anything too extraordinary. However, the one thing that we did pull out of this that seems to be the coolest is we have our first hit on the channel, Barrett Rudd. A nice looking autograph there. Even if it's a college autograph, still really cool to finally pull something of value out of these packs that we've been pulling on the channel. So I'll take a look and see what this guy is all about and I will get back to you guys maybe in the next video and I'll bring him back but yeah really awesome to finally pull that so it's cool we got him we got a couple of Reds cards over here couple of hockey cards right up my alley favorite sports so yeah I'd say this is a pretty pretty successful 
pretty successful break. We have 600 points for the big league store. And I was looking there today, there were a couple of options when you get to about a thousand points. There are a couple really cool opportunities to break into some hobby boxes with guaranteed autographs, relics, memorabilia, things like that. It would be really awesome to be able to do that. We're going to need a couple more points, so maybe in a couple of weeks we'll be able to break into some of those really expensive things. But for right now, I want to thank all of you so much for watching. I know this video is a little bit shorter, but we only had three of these to do today. I'll probably make this a reoccurring theme on the channel. These grab bags are pretty cheap, a really good value, and you can find some pretty cool stuff in there. So I really want to continue doing that. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up subscribe i'm going to be adding things all i hope to be adding at least every other day if not daily on the channel so keep an eye out for the next video should be coming your way in a day or two once again thank you all for watching have a great day and until the next break i will see you next time